Hey, what's up, Nice Kicks readers? My name is Ian Stoneberg, and we're here on location today in Austin at the park for a performance review of the Jordan CP36 AE. The Jordan CP36 AE serves as the second installment of the sixth signature shoe for Chris Paul. The shoe was designed for Paul to wear in the playoffs, and AE stands for Artesian Edition, which is displayed on the upper. Leather and mesh compose the majority of the upper on the CP36 AE. Aside from that, Phylon and Podulin make up the midsole and cushioning with special attention being made to natural motion on the grooves of the outsole and dynamic fit aiding lockdown. Lockdown was a standout attribute on the CP36 AE. As seen by the mesh window, there's a dynamic fit system which integrates the laces, the inner booty, and also the insole. The shoe felt snug, was great for first steps, great for stopping, stayed with me the whole time. Cushioning is another positive attribute of the CP36 AE. Now the shoe features Podulon technology and a fine line midsole. I really like Podulon. A lot of basketball shoes these days, especially guard shoes, cut in the cushioning department for added court feel. While I usually like that, this proved really cushy and great for heavy landings or even drop steps, but was still responsive enough to play like a guard. The CP3 scored well in responsiveness. Generally speaking, a good score in lockdown and cushioning translates to such, and that was the case on these. Whether sliding on defense, stopping on a dime on offense, cutting, you name it, the CP3 stayed with me and had no lag time. Breathability was more or less a non-issue on the CP36. When playing indoors or even outdoors in this Texas heat, the shoe never tended to overheat, but always felt pretty cool. You'll see the shoe features a mesh window. It definitely helps in that department. But all in all, it's not like you're feeling the breeze in these. Now, some will say support can only score so high in a low top shoe. I personally enjoy playing in low top shoes, but ankle support isn't gonna be the best for everybody on those. With that said, the snug fit and the wide set heel made for a very supportive shoe that I had no issues while playing in. Those familiar with the first installment of the CP36 know that traction was one of the main selling points. The shoe features herringbone pads in strategic places as well as midsole grooves for natural motion. I found traction to be one of the best attributes of this shoe. When playing indoors or going outdoors or even transitioning back from outdoors to indoors, the shoe's held up with no slipping. Durability, as we all know, is a test of time. After playing in the CP36 AE for just about two weeks straight, you can see the worn pair in my left hand and the dead stock pair in my right hand. Aside from some dirt and dust on the upper, there's pretty much no wear and tear on the upper of the worn pair. To find that the shoe is broken in and the leather's creasing a bit, but there are no rips or no tears or really no cause for concern. Aside from that, the outsoles definitely took some work on the outdoor court, but still, even after transitioning, proved to play well indoors. All in all, I really enjoyed playing in the latest CP3 offering from Jordan Brand. The shoe scored an A- on our report card that I think will be enjoyed by a lot of wearers. As known, designed for Chris Paul, the shoe is basically oriented for point guards, a guard play. The Podulon cushioning plays to that, as is the traction and low top cut. I'd recommend the CP3 AE for a player that plays on their toes or is a fast guard, but I do think the cushioning transitions well to players of pretty much all shapes and sizes. If you're a back to the basket big man, you probably don't want to play in a low top shoe, but if you do prefer lows, the CP3 will be a good choice for you. The CP3 6 AE is available now in an array of colorways at many outlets. Have you played in the CP3 6 AE? If so, let us know what you think in the comments section. Until then, tune in for another performance review. Thanks.